How does a browser display a web page? Where you enter a name of a website into a browser, the browser then sends a request to the DNS server asking to send the IP address of the server where the website is hosted and then the DNS server responds by sending the appropriate IP to the browser and then the browser connects to the server hosting the website asking it to send a copy back to the browser. Servers hosting websites are capable enough of handling millions of requests per second. But for the purpose of this demo, we will be using a Raspberry Pi 4 and installing Nginx on it which is a open source web server and load balancing software. Devices connected only to our network will have access to the web page. If you want to show your website to the world, you will need a public static IP and a hosting provider for better service. Setting up Nginx is pretty easy, just go ahead and type sudo apt install Nginx into your terminal and hit enter and the installation process will start. After the installation process has finished, let's check if Nginx has installed successfully. Open up your browser and enter the Pi's IP address and we should be seeing a welcome to Nginx web page, meaning that the install was successful and our Pi is now hosting a website within our local network. The configuration file for Nginx are stored in the etc slash Nginx directory and the default site configuration file is in the sites available directory. And if we take a look at the default config file, we can see that the default content that Nginx serves is located in the slash var slash www slash html directory. So let's navigate to that directory and make some changes to the default web page. After making changes to the HTML file, save the file and refresh your browser for the changes to take effect. Congratulations, you just set up a web server on a Raspberry Pi 4 on a network. So if you like today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.